Hey everyone and welcome to your virtual tour of Rome, the Eternal City. Today we'll be journeying through time and exploring some of the most fascinating landmarks this ancient metropolis has to offer. Prepare to be dazzled by architectural marvels, artistic masterpieces and remnants of a glorious empire that once ruled the world. First stop, the Colosseum. This elliptical wonder, once known as the Flavius Arena, wasn't just a stadium. It was a stage for gladiatorial combat, public executions and wild beast shows. Construction began in 70 AD by emperors of the Flavian dynasty and for over 400 years it served as a venue for entertainment and a symbol of Roman power. Next we'll toss a coin, or two, into the Trevi Fountain, the largest Baroque fountain in the world. Legend has it that throwing a coin into the water ensures your return to Rome, while a second coin tossed over your left shoulder guarantees finding love in the Eternal City. Originally built in the 18th century, the Trevi Fountain is a masterpiece of sculpture and design. Prepare to be awestruck by the Vatican Museums and the Sistine Chapel, nestled within Vatican City, the home of the Pope. The museums house a staggering collection of art and artifacts accumulated over centuries. But the crown jewel is undoubtedly the Sistine Chapel. Michelangelo's breathtaking ceiling frescoes, including the creation of Adam, have captivated visitors for generations. Our Roman adventure wouldn't be complete without a visit to the Roman Forum. This rectangular plaza was the beating heart of ancient Rome. Bustling with temples, basilicas and the Senate House, it was the center of Roman politics and religion for centuries. Let's move on to the Pantheon, a former Roman temple that's now a church. This architectural marvel boasts the largest unreinforced concrete dome in the world, topped by a mysterious opening called the Oculus. The name Pantheon comes from ancient Greek meaning of all gods or a temple to all gods. Climbing the Spanish steps is a must-do in Rome. This monumental staircase, a popular gathering place, leads up to the Trinita dei Monti Church. While the exact reason for their construction remains unclear, some believe they were built to ease tensions between Spain and France. Over at Piazza Navona, a lively square teeming with energy, prepare to be dazzled by the impressive Fountain of the Four Rivers, designed by Giacomo della Porta. Each of the muscular river gods represents a major waterway known at the time the Nile, the Danube, the Ganges and the Rio della Plata. This wasn't just a pretty sight, it was a powerful symbol of Rome's renewed connection with the wider world. Standing guard over the Tiber River is Castel Sant'Angelo. This imposing cylindrical structure has had a fascinating past, serving as a fortress, a papal residence and even a prison. Legend says that during a devastating plague, the Archangel Michael appeared atop the castle, signaling the end of the epidemic. No visit to Rome is complete without witnessing the grandeur of St. Peter's Basilica. This awe-inspiring church, the largest in the world, is a masterpiece of Renaissance architecture. Michelangelo designed the dome, and the basilica is said to hold the tomb of St. Peter himself. And finally, we end our journey with the statue of Marcus Aurelius. This equestrian statue depicts the Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius on horseback. It's one of the few surviving equestrian statues from ancient Rome and a powerful reminder of the city's long and illustrious history. So there you have it, a whirlwind tour of Rome's most captivating landmarks. Each site tells a story. Whispers of emperors and gladiators, artists and popes, Rome is a city that breathes history and I hope this virtual adventure has inspired you to explore its wonders in person someday. Thank you for watching.